Honda Super Cub is the best-selling vehicle of all time. More than 100 million have been sold since it first hit the road in 1958. It hasn't been around in America since 1983, but it is making a comeback. And Gary Gastelow, Fox News Automotive cool. kind of guy, he's going to tell us about it. Welcome back, Gary. Hey. Okay, how much? $3,800. Basically, that's it. There's only one model you can get for 2019, so it's pretty much one size fits 3, all. 3800 out the door, that's your lot. No haggling, no nothing like that. Exactly. You pay the money. Okay. What's so special about it? You know, it's a, it's a fun bike. It's 125 cc, so it's a motorcycle. It's not a scooter. It's kind of in the middle there. In California, you can't ride on the highway, but in a lot of states, you can. Uh, I got it up to about 65 miles an hour. It's happier under 50 around town on the streets. It gets 100 miles a gallon. Again, very affordable, easy to ride, has an automatic clutch, does have a four-speed transmission you have to shift with your foot, though. But this one's all modern, electronic fuel injection, LED lights. It's got anti-lock front brake. It even has a wireless key that you use and a built-in alarm. I would imagine, uh, look, I've been to Asia, yeah. and I've seen those things all over Vietnam, Asia. Vietnam, yeah, Vietnam Asia. especially. I mean, really crowding the streets. Do you think it might happen here? I walk outside on the 6th Avenue and there's a fleet <laughs> oh, I hope of not. Uh, Honda Cubs motorizing bicycling. around. Well, you know, we've got those delivery guys here and a lot of them yes, are on little exactly. scooters and whatnot, so who knows? Look, it's a little more popular, I think, in places like California. It is a staple in Asia. But look, Honda itself built 100 million of these. There's also plenty of knockoffs that are sold over there as well, so it is an extremely popular bike historically. I see other stuff appearing on the streets in America, too. Yep. Electric bikes. Yep. Delivery people in see New York everywhere. use electric Electric yeah. bike. Even though they're illegal in New York. Whatever. This is New York. Okay. <laughs> Flying through red lights. <laughs> You're right. But they, they're ubiquitous. Yes. And now, just yesterday, in New Jersey, in the small town where I live, I saw the arrival of these scooters. Well, you know, foot scooters. You know, you yes, yes. Pound the, I, I can't do it right. You know what I'm talking about. Do it about. again. No, 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 no. no, no. But you know what I mean? Race. Exactly. There's all kinds of individual small vehicles being introduced onto yes. America's roads. Well, let me tell you how popular this is. Honda didn't say how many they brought to America this year, but they've already allocated all of them, and they're begging to get more. In fact, the company's best-selling street bike right now is an even smaller model called the Grom, which uses the same engine, and the thing is tiny, and it's just popular. I mean, Look, $3,800 to some people, that's a lot of money. To other people, it's couch money. And this is something you could pick up for fun as a little run around town yeah. or if you, you know, you work that, at a... That Grand thing, you yeah. even smaller. Can you put that in the trunk of a car? Not quite. <laughs> Definitely an SUV, though. I think you could slip that's it in small. there. Although, you know, you tilt that it over the old butt. You're yeah. talking about electric bikes. Honda is working, and they've shown a <laughs> prototype of an electric Super Cub as well that may be coming pretty soon. Very interesting. Gary, really this cool. is a good story. Thank yeah. you very much for bringing it to us. You've got one outside, haven't you? Right out in the hall. I'm not riding. Oh, come on. <laughs>